Welcome back everybody to another review. In this review I'll be talking about the second gen Combo Array or the Combo Array G2. This is my current favorite light because it is so highly configurable. You can change the LEDs, the color of the LEDs, you can change the intensity of the light. You can also use sliders to mix and match different colors as well as change the times that these colors turn off and on. And best of all, this is all done through an app that is downloaded straight onto your phone. So let's go straight to the unboxing video and talk more about this light. So here is the unboxing of the light. Right away you can see that there are 12 square LEDs that can be switched out to different colors of your choosing. Being able to change the LEDs is an advantage because it gives you a lot of flexibility and you can also use the light later on as a marine light as well. There is a power adapter protected in bubble wrap and my light is a three foot version so it is 54 watts and it comes with an Aussie plug. The rails here you put on either end of the light and this connects to the stand which I'll show you at the end of the video. The light has a total of 36 LEDs and the larger LED on the circular board has a special silicon lens and this enables enhanced color blending of the light. Here is the warranty paper, it should come with the light. And down here, here is the instruction booklet. The 4-in-1 circular cluster does have various color combinations, as it contains different colored LEDs. And these LEDs can be controlled from an app in your phone. Here is a close-up of the underside of the light showing the circuit board and all the different LEDs. Again, each of these LEDs can be switched out, giving the light a high degree of configurability. The top of the light has a nice brush metal look, and it also acts as a massive heat sink. And that is why it has all those ridges on either side of the light. One side of the light has a touch panel, with an on and off switch, which is a new feature that you see on the Combo Ray G2s. The other side of the light has a hole, and this is used for the power supply. And that ends the unboxing. So here I am taking out the lens. Actually quite easy and there's no solder required. First you need to do is with a Phillips head, just uh, unscrew two screws in each corner. There are eight different types of LEDs that you can switch. I'll have them listed below. After taking the screws out, just uh, give it a bit of a push and carefully remove the LED board. So the light does come with a heat sink paste. So just apply a little bit and switching the LED to a different color is that easy. Give it a little bit of a push and put those screws back in. So while I'm putting those screws back in, I will say you can also buy two different types of lenses for these LEDs. If you go to the uh, website, there are 90 degree lens and 60 degree lens that you can actually um, pop onto the top of the LED. So this is how they look like and putting it on is very very easy. All you have to do is just push it into those two little holes and it just clicks in. So the Combo Ray uses an app on your iPhone or Android. Going into Instant Show, you 
can adjust your color balance using three sliders. The first slider leans into the red spectrum. The second slider leans into the blue spectrum. And the third slider is your configured spectrum with whatever LEDs you chose to use. And you can mix and match the three sliders to give an overall look that you prefer. And these can be saved into a colored ball. Now in the program view, you can see there are three set programs represented by a P, so P1, P2 and P3. And there are six outer colored balls that will cycle through the day, as shown here. Each colored ball can be pre-configured pre with their own time and set color using the three sliders. So let's have a look at the orange ball. You can see there's an hour, minute and second slider which can be configured. At the moment it's configured at 10 o'clock. So this makes the light highly configurable. And you can use your own LEDs, your own light intensity at set times through the day. And there are three program settings that you can use which means you can light your tank in three different ways. Overall, a very fun toy to play with. So that concludes my review. Again, another very nice light released by Ela Magic. So very briefly, it's a, an amazing light. It's very configurable. When the LEDs get old, you can just take them out, put in new ones. You've got a brand new light. The downside is the light's a little bit weak compared to the blaze but you know I'm using two of these lights in my tank and I love this light a lot so I think this lights a keeper and I highly recommend it if you enjoyed my review please like or subscribe and I shall see you later